Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Dom, and today we are checking out a city a tweak called Video Pane. This will, as it says, detach videos and put them in a draggable pane, so it's kind of like picture-in-picture -picture on your iOS device, but it actually just puts the video in a little box and you can drag it anywhere you want and do other things as well on your iPad while you're watching a video. Now, it does also work on iPhone and iPod Touch, but I'm showing you on an iPad here just because I feel like this tweak is more warranted to be used on a bigger screen. So let's go ahead and back out to the home screen here. And real quick, we're going to jump into the settings app. Now under your tweaks section, you'll have video pane right here. And inside of there, you'll be able to set up an activation method for it. Now you don't have to, but if you don't, as it notes right here, if no activation method is assigned, video pane will prompt you to detach each time you play a video. So basically if you don't have one set up and you start playing a video, this little pop-up will come up in the middle of the screen and ask you if you want to detach the video and use video pane. You also do have the option to require landscape mode to use video pane as well, but that is definitely up to you. You don't have to, you can use it in portrait mode just fine. So let's go ahead and check it out and see how it works here. We're gonna back out and go into the YouTube app where I have a video queued up right here as you can see. And let's go ahead and play the video here. I have my activation method set to a double tap of the status bar. So let's go ahead and double tap that. And as you can see, it paused the video real quick and we actually have it right here up at the top. As you can see there, we can back out to the home screen while this thing reloads. and. It works just fine. We can kind of snap it around to the sides there. Let's go ahead and get that play in there. And just basically drag it wherever we want to. It's pretty cool though. And you can also resize it. So if you double tap and drag, you'll be able to resize the window. So check this out. I'm gonna double tap and then drag. And I can resize it as big or as small as I want. Now I can also go full screen with it if I want to just peep in and check out what's going on in the video on the bigger screen or, or you know in full size I guess like this you can do that if that's not enough you also do have the ability to toggle transparency here so if we tap on it here double tap actually you have the ability to make it transparent there so maybe you're you know in the YouTube app and you're you have it down here you're trying to read you can actually see the text right through the video and I don't know why you'd want to do that it's a little distracting for me personally but it does get the job done and it does it well it's a pretty cool tweak though. I mean, it's very, very functional. And like I said, you can go ahead and make it bigger or smaller just by double tapping and dragging. And just a simple double tap will go ahead and make it transparent like that. I mean, I think this is a pretty cool tweak. It's definitely useful on an iPad, like I said. I mean, you can use it on an iPhone as well, but I personally find it way more useful on an iPad, as you can see. And when you're done with the video, you can even go ahead and close it out by tapping on the X. It'll fly away and go back into the YouTube app right here, as you can see. And then you can go ahead and resume playing that. Now, sometimes I have had this issue where a black screen pulls up until I play with the cursor and then eventually it will it'll come up but for the most part it definitely works every time now the best part is it doesn't only work in YouTube it'll work in iTunes previews or movies it'll work in Netflix it'll work in the video app so it's definitely a very versatile tweak when it comes to its applications that it is compatible with now we can also set that you know how I was double tapping on there to make it transparent you can actually set that to be something custom here and if we go into activator and just go to anywhere and scroll down until you see video pane. Let's try to find that here. Video pane, double tap video pane. Right here it says toggle transparency and I just deleted that on accident. But you can change it to basically anything you want in here. Any activator action that you can think of, you can make the double tap of the video pane use that action. So that is another cool feature. Overall, I think this is a great tweak. I definitely go ahead and check it out if you're looking for this functionality. This is called Video Pane and it was developed by Ryan Petrick and if you wanna get it, you can grab it for $1.99 Find it in the Big Boss repo. Check it out and be sure to let me know what you think down in the comments below. Thanks again for watching everybody. This is Dom and have a great day.